Welcome to the Ultimate Beginner's Guide for Jury, where you'll learn all you need to know in a fast video that doesn't waste your time. I've already reached diamond rank with this character, so yes, I know what I'm talking about. Leave a like down below for Jury, and without any further ado, let's get started. All right, first up, heavy punch, medium kick, and crouching medium kick. These are the three most vital normals with Jury. I understand normals aren't as exciting as special moves, but shut up, you have to learn these normals, okay? It's vital for Jury. Heavy punch has crazy range and a bunch of hits done, which means you have time to hit confirm it. If your opponent blocks, no big deal, get a stock with Fuhajin. But if it lands, dash forward in for a drive rush and keep the combo going. And here's my favorite combo. Easy damage, great corner carry, you can dash in and keep the pressure going. Now do be warned, heavy punch can be unsafe on block if done really close, so make sure to always cancel it into a fuha. Next up we have medium kick. This move is so ridiculously good that it's become a meme. Look at the range on this thing, and it starts up extremely fast. Up close, it hits twice for even more damage. And unlike heavy punch, it is not unsafe on block, so just throw it out there and have a good time. And then finally, crouching medium kick. Hits low and can easily cancel into special moves to extend the combos. And even though it's range isn't quite as good as standing medium kick, it's still really good for a normal that hits low and can extend combos. And now finally, there's two more normals that I want you to be aware of. Crouching medium punch does not have the best range, but it has a very good amount of hits done, which makes it ideal for extending combos in most situations. Next up, we have crouching heavy punch. This will be your ideal anti-air unless you want to do an air throw or an anti-air special. Crouching heavy punch can be a great reaction anti-air. And then on top of that, for an added bonus, it does chunky damage and has has a bunch of hit stuns, so it's ideal for extending combos in certain situations. And next up we have the unique attacks, and Jury has quite a lot. First up is forward medium punch. This attack has some really, really good range. You can special cancel it, and you can even drive rush cancel it if you want to. It's pretty good for that as well. And next up we have forward medium kick, Jury's overhead. By default it can't start combos, but it is safe on block, so it has that going for it. And then of course if you drive rush into it, you can get combos. And the damage can be pretty great, especially if you have stock. Check this out. I'm gonna do all three stocks and just look at the damage here. Next up is Ford Heavy Punch. Hits twice and does some really good damage, a thousand in total, whereas Standing Heavy Punch only does 800, so a bit more damage if you land this bad boy. And of course, you can special cancel it for even more damage, and once you have stock, you can do stuff like this. And then we have Back Heavy Kick. Its damage isn't super high, only 800, just like Heavy Punch, but it hits really high above Jury, so in some situations it can actually be an anti-air. And then finally we have Jury's target combo, which is Medium Punch and then Back Heavy Punch, Heavy Punch. It's okay, it's kind of your beginner baby combo if you're brand new to Street Fighter 6. It's not really good, I don't recommend it most of the time. And now it's time for the special moves, which I know are much more exciting. First up we have the Fuha Jin. These are how you store attacks, otherwise known as stocks. Sometimes I call them stores, stocks, or stored attacks, you get the idea. They're very, very useful. If spaced correctly, it's safe on block, especially if done after a normal attack, with the only exception being the heavy version, which launches the opponent really high, but the trade-off is it's unsafe on block, so never do this move outside of combos. The light version is the fastest, and also the most safe on block, but has the worst range. So in situations like this, it can whiff. That's why you want to do the medium version most of the time. If spaced correctly and done after a normal, it's usually safe on block, and it scoots jury forward just a little bit. And then finally we have the EX version, which does the most damage, has the speed of the light kick version, and launches the opponent like the heavy kick version. But even so, this option is not worth the meter most of the time in my opinion. Heavy kick does the job just fine. But now we have the coolest part, the Saiha Show, otherwise known as spending the storage, right? Every time you do Fuha, you store one of these attacks. And you can actually store up to three, and thankfully there is no limit. You can keep doing the move, but you just won't store any more attacks. And once you have these moves stored, Saiha Show is how you spend them. Light Kick is a projectile that's very low to the ground and great for pressuring the opponent after a combo. So for example, if I'm fighting the opponent and I do something like this, projectile on the ground, and look at that, G has to block, which means I can go in for more offense. But then we have the medium kick, which is great for extending combos. You can do stuff like this for some really easy damage. Now the trade-off is it's very unsafe on block, so you want to be careful and hit confirm before using this move. In fact, I recommend using it after a drive rush, so stuff like this. See that? I knew for a fact it was gonna land because I already hit confirmed into it. Situations like that are perfect for medium kick. And then finally we have the heavy version, which hits twice, does good damage, and carries the opponent across the screen. It's also unsafe on block, but great for setups. Check this out. 
then the projectile and bam, Chun-Li wakes up into it. Or if you just want flat damage, you can actually cancel this into the medium kick version. It spends two of your stored attacks, but the damage can sometimes be worth it. And then finally, we have the EX version, but there's actually three depending on which buttons you press. So here's light kick plus heavy kick. It's the overhead extender, right? Great for extending combos, pretty fast. Next up is medium kick plus heavy kick. Does three hits instead of one. And then if you want to spend a store, you can actually do another quarter circle and look at that. It launches the opponent to extend combos, pretty sick. And then finally, there's light kick plus medium kick, which is the projectile. Pretty much you can throw it out without having to store an attack. That's the main reason you would ever do this. And then for the cherry on top, it hits twice and knocks the opponent down. So it's great for dashing in behind and getting guaranteed pressure. Honestly, depending on your playstyle, Saihosho can be really good or just kind of okay, depending on how you choose to play. When I first started, I was constantly storing attacks and doing long extended combos. However, the more I played, I realized that Drive Rush is just fine and I can do combos like this to get really good damage, dash up in the opponent's face and look at that, they're already cornered. And as a result, nowadays, I don't use Saihosho quite as much. It's still really cool and has flavors of Street Fighter V if you're feeling nostalgic, but once again, it just comes down to your playstyle. Next up, we have Tensenren, which I'm just going to call Dragon Punch or Shoryuken because it's the same input. The light version is great for ending combos in certain situations because it cancels into super attacks. The medium version does more damage and is great as an anti-air because Jury goes pretty much straight up and yes it is invincible to jump in attacks during its startup. And then we have the heavy version which does even more damage and can also be a good anti-air but the issue is Jury moves forward quite a lot so sometimes you might go underneath the opponent as they jump at you. And that's why in my opinion the medium version is still the best for anti-airs. Unless you have super, the heavy punch version is the best way to end most of your combos because not only does it do the most damage, but it also carries the opponent closer to the corner. And then finally, we have the EX version. This is your go-to get off me tool. It is fully invincible on startup, but be careful because this move is fully punishable on block. So the opponent's gonna make you eat a big combo if they block this thing. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the dive kick. This can be great for countering projectiles if done preemptively and very close close to the ground. And once the first attack lands, just mash that kick button and get the follow-ups. Looks really cool and carries the opponent really far across the screen. If you want a combo afterwards, you can do the EX version, which launches the opponent a bit higher into the air, and since Jury lands sooner, you can do a follow-up like Tensenren. Or hey, if you want to, you can even do Super, which I don't know why you would, the damage isn't that great, but hey, it's an option, you can absolutely do it if it gets the kill. One more thing worth noting is the dive kick can be done after certain jump attacks, like jumping medium punch. Look at that, it floats the opponent. So now I'm gonna do jumping medium punch into dive kick, and look at that, I get a full combo and some decent damage. And of course, you can also do the EX kick to launch the opponent, and then go for a Super if you wanted to. Even level three, why not? It's gonna be scaled a bit, but hey, if it gets the kill, I just want to show you what's possible with this dive kick. It's actually really versatile. A word of caution though, this dive kick can be very punishable on block, especially if it's blocked higher up on the opponent's body. So ideally, you want to aim for their toes. Hit them right in the foot. If you do that correctly, it's actually safe. Alright everyone, and now it's time for the super attacks. First up, we have the level 1. It does really good damage and also sends the opponent all the way across the screen, usually in the corner, which is very ideal. And to make things even better, if you have one stock at least, you can actually hold the kick button during the super and Jury will spend it to get a bit more damage. Look at that, 2100 instead of 1800. Now keep in mind you actually can't cancel special moves into level 1, but you can still land them if the opponent is launched high enough. So for example, the heavy kick Fuha. Look at this, launches the opponent super high, perfect for level 1 super. Hold the button down if you want more damage. Boom, very, very cool stuff. And next up we have the level two, which is arguably Jury's best super, but it takes a ton of skill to master. Jury can now chain all of her normal attacks into each other, which means her combos get really easy, but also very damaging. And to make things even better, if you hold down the punch button, Jury flies forward and hits the opponent, which means she can extend combos, which is so, so useful. And once you activate this super, certain normals just change, like crouching medium punch into heavy punch does this. Yeah, it just launches the opponent Opponent. So you can do like this. Really cool stuff, right? In fact, you can actually do medium kick there. Really, really cool stuff, right? And it's only for a short period of time, but the damage you get is ridiculous once you open up the opponent. In fact, even Jury's overhead becomes so much scarier after a drive rush because you can just do stuff like this now. 
That is a damaging overhead and did not cost me any stock, man. This super is just so good and so versatile and only cost two bars, which is why I think in the long run it could be better than level three. Because keep in mind, you can combo into this thing, whether it's after a drive rush, a heavy kick, fuha, or any number of things, and then once you knock the opponent down, you can go for an overhead into even more ridiculous damage. In the hands of a skilled player, this might be one of the best supers in the entire game. Now, the issue is it takes a lot of skill to use properly. And then finally, we have the level three. This super is a shocking good anti-air and you can special cancel into it so you can do stuff like this boom right into super bam still catches her look how high up chun li was and it still works so yeah it's a good anti-air and of course the damage is crazy high because it's a level three and then if you're low on health you get the critical art which does even more damage still now when it comes to horizontal range i think it's just kind of normal she moves forward a little bit and keep in mind it's very very unsafe on block so make sure to either combo into this thing or use it as a yolo get off me tool because it is invincible all right there you have it everyone everything you need to know about a jury and to finish off this video here's some easy bread and butter combos to master and make sure you dominate online. Please post any tips you know about Jury in the comments section down below so we can all get better together, and then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any future guides for Street Fighter 6. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs!